Consider a living being that does not know of the permanent abiding of the Tathagata. You should understand that he or she is like a person born blind. When someone does not know of this permanent abiding of the Tathagata, though he or she may have vision with his or her physical eyes, what I am speaking about here is vision with divine eyes. If one is able to understand the permanence of the Tathagata, know that that person will have cultivated sutras like this one for some time. When I speak about these things, I am alluding to seeing with divine eyes. But even if one has divine sight, he or she may still not be able to understand the permanence of the Tathagata. On other topics I may be alluding to seeing with physical eyes, but some people are not even able to recognize the hands, feet, or other parts of their own bodies, so how could they be able to make others understand? It is in this sense that I have referred to their understanding as operating through physical eyes. In addition, the Tathagata always serves as the father and mother for all living beings. Why do I say this? There are many varieties of form among living beings, such as having two legs, four legs, many legs, or no legs. The Buddha employs just a single sound in expounding the Dharma for each and every kind of living being. But each will gain their own understanding of what he says. One by one, each pleads with him. Oh, Tathagata, would you please preach the Dharma to me? It is in this sense that I am called their mother and father. In addition, think of a baby who, for the first sixteen months, speaks but does not yet communicate. Yet the father and mother want to teach the child how to speak. So at first they make the same sounds as the baby, and then gradually teach the baby proper language. The Buddha Tathagatas are also like this. When they expound the Dharma to living beings, they adapt to the various sounds those living beings make. For the purpose of enabling them to establish themselves in the true Dharma, the Tathagatas will manifest in a variety of forms, according to how they will be seen. Why? Because what is spoken by the Tathagata is like the roar of a lion. In accordance with the various sounds of the world, he illustrates the wondrous dharma for living beings.